All right, boys. Video four. Uh, I'm pretty knackered by now. Voice, throat hurts, you know. But, you know, I'm sticking with it. I'm keeping the, you know, the... All right, boys. Video four. If you made it this far, you must be really, really clueless. You know what? No, no, no flame. No flame. Take three. Okay, video four. Um, I'm sticking with the triadness, you know, the full screen cam. Guy told me, you know, man, your 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 videos are way too scuffed. You need to try harder. You need to go full American. So we're going American for this one. Full screen cam, everything, high production value. All right, you know what? No. Okay, take four. I actually forgot what I was going to say. I was I've been trolling around too much. So advanced interface options, first of all. This is nice because, uh, where am I going? Here, here, here. You just get a bunch more kind of customizability. I think that's a word. Apparently this is good on Classic. I don't know. I think because of the, the server batching 400 MS is meant to be good. I don't know. But yeah, so you get so many more things. Apparently you can't turn this on. Which I, I, so I got a different add-on for that in the end, but... There's so many things that you can change. So if you've, you're having an issue with some options not being there, I advi I, I advise getting advanced interface options. I can't actually talk anymore. Jesus Christ. Second add-on is AUX. Now, I tried Auctioneer and I tried Auctionator. And I didn't like either of them. This is over kind of the last few years. I didn't like either of them. One of them had a nice UI but was super slow. And the other one was the worst UI ever but was quick. So it's sort of like, eh. So... I got recommended to download this, and I'm having a really good time with it. It seems really fast to use. It's really clean, really clean, really clear. Uh, I I highly recommend that. I will again. All screenshots of different add-ons will be on Deathblind. If you check out the link under the under the video, then uh, there might be something a little bit less scuffed. Um, classic aura durations that shows stuff like this. See this? Usually you don't get a number there. Usually you don't even get a nice little wheel thing. You know the wheel where there's like a shadow? Usually there's just a buff, and then when it ends, it goes. So this add-on kind of changes it so that it's more like what it is in BFA. So you've got classic aura durations, and I also have uh, Omni CC. I believe Omni CC adds the number to it. Classic aura durations adds the wheel. So I recommend that one, especially if, if you're a healer, it's, it's handy. Classic cast bars shows you the cast bar of the mob that you're targeting underneath. If you don't have that, you can't see the cast bar. It's a bit annoying. Uh, it's not completely accurate, but it's the best kind of option that, that we've got at the moment. Classic threat meter is the, your usual threat meter. I don't know how much I trust it. It seems a little bit buggy, especially on multi-targeting mobs, stuff like that. But again, it's, it's better than nothing. Uh, and then details. The usual. Uh, you know how details work. You know what details are. You don't need, to, need me to, to describe details. Probably the best damage damage meter there is at the moment. I don't. I might try out this tiny threat thing. Maybe that's better than this. I don't know. Uh, Gather mate two. Uh, when you go mining or herbing, essentially whenever you mine or herb something, it shows you the nor the the node location. It pops up on the map. So this is all the stuff the nodes that I've mined so far. If you haven't mined anything yet, then there there won't be a node. So you have to actually fill the data yourself there's no pre-data i don't know if that's available P potentially it is but i didn't have it so it's handy regardless um to know where all the the spawns are so that you can do an efficient route around the map heal com heal this is a big one that people have asked about so this basically shows you on the raid frames uh an incoming heal in a it's like a light transparent green color and so when you when either you or anyone else that heal come, uh, anyone else that's using heal come is healing something, you will see that that kind of that green bar showing an incoming heal, um, and roughly how much that heal is going to do, which I think is super handy. Uh, so that's that's a big one, especially for raiding. And then we've got Leatrix maps, and Leatrix plus. Now Leatrix maps essentially shows you uh, unexplored zones, unexplored areas. So you don't actually need to explore everything. Usually it's it's blacked out, right? With Leatrix maps, it's just like fog of war. Which is actually super handy. Saves you uh 
some time if you don't know exactly where everything is. So I recommend Leetrix Maps. Now Leetrix Plus does all kinds of different things, and I believe they just did an update today. I need to actually update it as well, but uh, I, will, I will give you the link to the updated one. Um, so a big one for this is when you're when you're leveling up and you're questing, automate quests. This will automatically pick up at handed quests uh, without you needing to click accept or anything like that. You can also skip the dialogue. Uh, sell junk, repair automatically. All these things are automated if you if you so choose. So there's a lot of customizability and a lot of quality of life improvements in there. So if you if you're interested in doing any of these things, uh, including hiding the griffins, hiding your stance board, anything really, Leetrix, Leetrix probably has it. So. I've had a quick click through. If you see anything you like, I recommend this add-on. It's very lightweight. And uh, yeah, works really well. Leetrix Plus, boys. Probably my favorite add-on, actually, for Classic. Mainly because of the automated quests, but yeah, solid, solid add-on. Then we've got Mixed Scrolling Battle Text. So what this does is when you heal uh, an ally on Classic, you don't see the the healing number above their head. It's really annoying. I don't know why they've removed it, but yeah, you don't see like healing number. So this is kind of my workaround for that. So that's a crit. That's what a crit looks like, and that's what a heal looks like. So the the green number is how much you healed for, and then the number in the brackets is your overhealing. Now you can customize all of this. Uh, if I show you really quickly, I always forget the command. Um, so in events, we've got outgoing player and this is my heels essentially and you can edit what shows up right so this is um, amount healed and then this is the name of the person that I healed you can add more commands you can add less commands you can change whatever you want um, and you can turn off and on all these other things to show basically whatever you want It's it's got most stuff um, I currently have HOTS disabled, so you can't see HOTS, but yeah, there's there's plenty of uh, options in there. I just use it for the heals, but you can use it for whatever scrolling combat text you want. So again, big big recommend on that one. Um, and this is part of the same item. Then Omni CC we've already talked about, that just shows um, numbers on the on the debuffs. Uh, quest log extended. That's another one that people ask me about a lot. That essentially will extend your quest log like this. Usually you can only see like the top what, five or whatever and then it's like blanked off here and it's super annoying, I hate it. So quest log extended, you can actually see everything and it makes it a lot um, less claustrophobic. I don't even know what how to describe it. But uh, I recommend this one. Especially if you're leveling up with questing, this will make your life a lot easier. See exactly what quests you've got. Um, slash played is just this. Uh, a little custom add-on somebody made for me. It's not really needed. I just have it for my stream mostly. Uh, and then, sorry, I forgot one. is real mob health. This is a big one. So what this will do is show the actual number, uh, how much health the mob has. But you actually have to kill at least one mob of that level to record the data. And what it does is it approximates the health that the mob has based on how much percent you take off the mob and how much you hit it for, and the more you hit it, the more it, it, it uh, converges in on the true health of the mob. <coughs> um, so you need to make sure you have numeric value under status text uh, enabled for that to work. And then, yeah, you're going to be able to see the mob, uh, the mob HP more accurately. And this will, this will, again, this will help you when leveling up and stuff. And just, just in general, to see how much health people have. So I recommend that one. That's a good one. What else have we got? So we have Titan Panel. Um, Titan Panel was one I was using for leveling up um, and just kind of figuring out how, how much XP I was getting from certain uh, activities. So like when I went to Zulfarak and did uh, the dungeon leveling, you could see that was like 80 plus K XP an hour, stuff like that. You can reset the XP rate <coughs> and all sorts. Uh, if I enable that for you quickly... Uh, you, 
can just have a look at what I'm what I'm talking about. So there's your Titan panel, and you can change the way it looks. You can change all sorts about it. You can sh you can remove stuff. You can add more stuff. Um, there's a bunch of settings for it. I I honestly I just use it for the XP rate. I think it's quite handy. So that's Titan panel. If you're not worried about XP rates, I probably wouldn't wouldn't bother with it. Uh, vendor price is a good one. That will show you when you mouse over an item how much it sells the vendor for. Uh, I think it's pretty useful. Um, when you're worrying about, you know, you've got full bags and you're like, oh man, which gray do I get rid of, or you know, which item do I chuck? You can you can find the cheapest one by pressing Control and it will it will glow. So you can then just destroy that and gain an extra bag slot, which is super useful actually. Um, so yeah, I like it for that. I think it's I think it's handy. It saves you some time, saves you some bag space, and makes sure you maximize your uh, your income while leveling. Uh, and then the last one is character stats classic. Uh, and what this does is it will show you some more information about the stats that you've got. So it shows you your spell power, healing, that sort of stuff, mana regen, uh, spell crit, all stuff that you don't usually get to see essentially uh, in classic. So I I definitely recommend that one. Just a lot. A lot of them are just quality of life things, but it makes the classic experience more enjoyable. I'd say. Hello, hello, hello. Cheeky vein. I don't know. I love that. How long has that been up? I've just been running around. Did that just spawn? I'll take it. Um. So yeah, that's that's the add-ons. The add-ons video. Uh, I don't think I've got anything else to add. If you do have any add-ons that you think are worth grabbing. Let me know in the comments anything that I'm missing um, that would be useful. It's always good to, to build up a bit more add-on portfolio and make the UI nicer for the stream. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, I think that's all I had to say. If, if you're interested in anything else to do with uh, macros or leveling talents, anything like that, there's a couple of other vi videos I've made that are available. Uh, if not, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out Deathblind to uh, to download any of these. Got them all listed. And uh, have a good day.